And, and look, it's even got a glory hole punched in it. I'm not even going to make a joke about that. Howdy, howdy, y'all. Ball Card Zero here. Just got back from the show in Salisbury, North Carolina. Another great show put on by Inside Pitch Promotions. Every time they put on the show, it's, it's just a, a banger. Picked up a lot of good stuff, as always. So, uh, I'm just going to start out with this card right here. Uh, 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 uh. When it comes crashing down and it hurts inside, I tell you, I loved wrestling back in the day. Hulk Hogan. He was just so iconic back in the 80s, and uh, he was my favorite wrestler back then, him and Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Me and a buddy of mine, we actually had a little debate going on, and we were talking about who the most popular athlete was during certain decades. And uh, like the, the 90s, obviously, was Michael Jordan. 2000s uh, was probably either Kobe or maybe Tiger Woods. But the 80s, we really got into the debate whether it was like Joe Montana or Magic Johnson or Mary Lou Retton. But I said it was Hulk Hogan, and I mean, if you think about it, this guy was everywhere. I mean, he was he was in movies and on commercials, and I mean, he was I mean, he was just a big. You couldn't get much bigger than him back in the eighties. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you. Now. I should point. I picked up these cards, all these cards from one dealer, and uh, I swear I think this dealer might have been high. I got nine cards for fifteen dollars from this guy, so roughly a, about a dollar sixty a card. Check this out. Now, again, ignore the sticker on the front. It says $12, but it wasn't $12. And this is a Ted Williams. This is a reprint, but it looks like the 53 Tops. Ted Williams didn't have a 53 Tops card. But it's uh, the guy told me the story behind it, and I can't remember, so I'm going to have to look it up. And then there again, I probably won't. But it's a really cool card. And uh, it was only about, it, like I said, $1.50 or whatever. Just really happy to get it, even though it is a reprint. Now, look at this. It says $30. Like I said, just ignore the uh, sticker. But this card is so cool because look at it. It's a league, league leader card from uh, 1960. You got Ernie Banks, Hank Aaron, Eddie Matthews, and Ken Boyer for $30. I mean, how can that card only have been about $1.50? Well, I'll show you why. Yep, that's why. It looks like it might have been, you know, like glued to a wall or something at some point, but that's okay because um, my approach to ball cards is similar to my approach to women. I have very low standards, therefore I'm able to pick up a lot more, and I'm I'm grateful for that. A '68 Brooks Robinson condition isn't all that bad. It's off centered as all get out, but it says 25 on there. But uh, had to pick that up. Check, you know, a hologram, a Jordan hologram. So, of course, I'm going to get that. Uh, $15 is what it said, but um, beautiful card, just beautiful because it's Jordan and a hologram. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Um, so, I, I wanted to get this. It says $4, but it wasn't. And it's got five guys on there, right? There's the four monkeys. I don't know who this guy is. Is, is, that, is that Sling Blade? Who is that? It might be. These are um, from the same dealer, part of that package. Yeah, I know they're reprints. They're, they're the they got that that protective cover on them or whatever. But here's an AL Bombers card. It's got Roger Maris, uh, Norm Cash, Mickey Mantle, and Al Kaline. Beautiful card. Look at this. It's a 52 tops uh, maze card. It looks like uh, or but it's got that, yeah, whatever. But uh, six dollars, uh, just a beautiful card, and then some Mickey Mantles, sixty-six Mantle. Here's a, uh, is that a fifty-six? I mean a sixty-five. That's a sixty-five Mantle, I believe. All these cards were a uh, dollar a piece. So tops finest basketball cards of Dennis the Worm Rodman. Whoops. And then I got a Clyde Drexler, Top's Finest. Got some sort of stain on his head, or it looks like a bird might have took a shit on it. I'm not real sure. And check this out. It's a, um, it's a, it's a Magic Johnson 
Topps Finest. I guess that's when he made his return in the NBA, like in 1995. I remember watching that game against the Golden State Warriors. Man, I was so excited about his return. Only came back for one year, but beautiful card. But then look at this. A David Robinson, Topps Finest. That is just a beautiful card right there. It's David Robinson. It's got that shiny Spurs logo. Got it for a good price. But if there's one thing I love more than getting a good deal on a David Robinson card, it's some cards with some scribbling on it. So check this out. Got this. Uh, it's a 72 Topps Harmon Killebrew. You can see up there somebody scribbled some numbers on it. I'm assuming that's home runs and RBIs and batting average. I mean, it's, it was, this card was only like a dime or something. You can see why. It's got a big old crease in it, but that's okay. It's got some good old scribbling on it. Here's another card that's got some scribbling on it. It's a Sid Bream triple play. But the person that did scribbling on it is Sid Bream. And you can see it says on there, Billy and Bradley, give it your best always. Take care, Sid Bream, Romans 5 minus 8. It's kind of sad because that card was personalized at some point to somebody, but it's not now. Anytime I get a chance to bring up Sid Bream, well, I'm going to because uh, Madam Editor, she is a huge Pittsburgh Pirates fan. And, uh, well, everybody knows that Sid Bream did the slide that uh, in the 1992 National League Championship game that sent the Braves to the World Series over the Pirates. And um, it just drives her crazy anytime I bring that up, especially with uh, Andy Van Slyke sitting in the outfield sulking because Barry Bonds, with his little noodle arm, couldn't throw out Sid Bream from second base. Embarrassing. Uh, picked up, picked this card up. It's pretty cool, and it was only a dollar. It's a Calvin Hill rookie, and uh, I got this from the uh, moldy card guy. So you know what that means. Mold, but that's okay because it was only a dollar. Calvin Hill rookie. Check this card out. So this is really interesting because it says Lindy shows Larry. But what exactly is uh, Lindy showing Larry behind that sticker right there? I, I, I'm afraid to find out. I, I don't want to know. It says Larry was the workhorse for the team. Maybe he's showing he's hung like a horse. Um, got this card here. It was only a dollar. Um, Jim Hunter, old catfish, and uh, from the 73 set, and, and I'm telling you, it's the 73 set, I'm convinced they intentionally used the worst photos they could find, because, I mean, that is just a weird, he's not, he's not standing on the mound, he's, it, you don't throw the ball like that, it's just stupid, but that's okay, I guess. So here's another card from the 73 set that's just weird, it's got some weird photo on it. And uh, it's Bob Gibson, and I know I've got like two or three of these cards, so if somebody wants this card, you can have it. Just let me know. But it's a pretty pretty cool card, except for the weird photo. But it's like somebody was standing like right over here and said something to Bob Gibson that pissed him off. It was like, Bob, I fucked your wife last night. What? Yes, he did, Bob. I saw him do it, man. Go fuck him up, Bob. Here's another 73 card with some bad photography. It's Steve Garvey, and it's got his face covered up. I mean, that's, I'm assuming that's Steve Garvey there, but look, I mean, you can't even see who that is. Why would they use that photo? But, oh, it, it, it's got a, a, a it's, there's two, it, it says right there, there's there's two Steve Garvey cards in there. Um, I forgot about that. But here's a 75 Steve Garvey card. Um, pretty cool. That card is terrible. Sensi Clouders. On here, you got uh, Bell, Biv, and DeVoe. No, I'm joking. That's actually Bell, Robinson, and Lynch. Looks like they're having a prick measuring contest. Ozzy Albies, you know, I picked this up for Mom Card Zero. It's so Ozzy Albies rookie. And uh, baseball is right around the corner. I mean, probably by the time this video come out, we've already had opening day, but that's just great. So uh, had to pick this up for her. <laughs> It says that card was uh, $35, but that card's never been worth $35, right? We all know what the card this is, and you're wondering what's under my thumb. Is it the FF or the black box or the white box or the white scribble? or the, it's, it's the black box. So everybody knows what card this is, but if you don't, 
there's a bunch of versions of this card. The first version on the end of that bat had some scribbling and it said fuckface. And they made a bunch of those cards, printed it off, and then they realized what was going on. So they put a black box over it. Then they made another version that had the white box, white scribbling. There's like five or six different versions of this card. But the fuckface is the one that's worth the most for obvious reasons. And Billy Ripken, he had to know that was on the bat. I mean, yeah, he knew. A Jason Kidd rookie card. This card was only a quarter. I couldn't believe it. A Jason Kidd rookie. So um, definitely had to pick that up. That's a weird photo. That's actually the same photo that's on the front, but he's rubbing Jamal Mashburn's head. Oh, oh, I just saw a big old crease. Where did I see that crease? There's a big old crease in it right there. You see it? Yeah, that's all right, though. The card's probably not even worth a quarter. And then uh, Cam Newton with Auburn, which um, I like Auburn. So, obviously, I'm going to pick this up. Beautiful card. What does that say? Oh, Panthers. Yep, that's right. He did play for the Panthers. Look at this guy. Mike Newland. Um... I don't know much about him. You can see it was only a dollar, but I picked it up. He kind of looks like a caveman. Kind of looks like Ringo Starr or something. I don't know, but just a unique looking person. Um, you know, I just now remembered I said he looked like Ringo, looked like a caveman. Ringo Starr was in the movie Caveman. Maybe, I don't know. I picked up some more basketball cards. Here's a Vlade Divac rookie. Uh, rookie sensation uh, around here in the Carolinas. Everybody knows Vlade as the player that was traded uh, for Kobe Bryant whenever the, the Hornets drafted Kobe, which, I mean, he, Kobe was never going to play for the Hornets, but this is who the Hornets got whenever they traded away Kobe Bryant. And he wasn't a bad player. He just wasn't Kobe Bryant. But um, pretty cool card. I always feel like I'm cussing somebody out in a foreign language whenever I say his name. Vlade Divac, are you doing? Oh, man, look at this. It's Drew Timmy. Drew Timmy from uh, Gonzaga. Um, I, he was good in college, but I don't think he ever made it to the uh, NFL or um, NBA. A couple more basketball cards. Uh, here's a cool Jordan card. It was only 50 cent. Uh, top Stadium Club, you can see it's the member's choice, but uh, not exactly the most exciting photo, but still it's Jordan. And look at this Jordan card. Is that not beautiful? It says Top Prospect. I know it's not his rookie, but um, I mean, it's him with the, the Tar Heels jersey. That card looks like it might glow under a black light. I might check to see if it does. Yep, it does. Here's a Steve McNair rookie. He was such a good college quarterback. And I mean, he was good in the NFL, too. Won an MVP or co-MVP. But, man, I loved him in college. But uh, and it's real sad what happened to him. This is a Lawrence Taylor in action card. And it was only a dollar. And it's from his rookie set, but it's not the rookie card. It's an in-action card. But it's, um, it's, it's like one of those ways you can pick up a first-year Lawrence Taylor card or whatever at a discount because, you know, like I said, it's not technically his rookie. And it, it was only a dollar. It says six, but I only paid a dollar for it. And then another, man, I love this card right here. Brett Favre action packed. And uh, he's wearing the that Falcons jersey. I, I don't know why I've been on this kind of kick here lately, picking up uh, Brett Favre rookies. But it's just a beautiful card. And I just love these action packed uh, because I don't think I collected them back then and they – because I don't think they were worth too much, but uh, and they're probably not worth anything now. But they're still, they're still something. I like them. I want to show you these cards here that I picked up. I love, absolutely love these cards. Check these out. So these are some of these transparent cards, um, and they were only a dollar a piece. So I picked these up. John Stockton. I mean, is that look? You can see the, see how transparent it is. That's just absolutely gorgeous. If you turn it the wrong way, you get a silhouette. Check this one out. Okay. Oh, can you tell who that is? Patrick Ewan. Beautiful card. What about this one? Grant Hill. Who's this? Hakeem Olajuwon. 
beautiful, but now look at this one. David Robinson. <laughs> I about flipped my shit whenever I saw this card for a dollar. So, Chipper Jones, man, look at this. this is Chipper Jones rookie? I know it's not his rookie. It's his second year card, but it says top prospect. But I mean, is that not a cool card? Because it's the it's the gold card of Chipper Jones, so that's really cool. Even though it's not his rookie, I don't think I had that, and it was only like fifty cents. I had to pick this up. <laughs> I just picked up this guy because I like his name, Rip Rapolsky. I don't know anything about him, but uh, just like his name. Actually, it says his name is really Elton John Rapolsky. Oh, man. Whoops. Actually, it says his name is really Elton John Rapolsky. <laughs> and then another old card that's funny, Dick Brown. Um, you know what? If your last name is Brown, don't call your child Dick. In fact, if your last name is anything, don't call your child Dick because he's just going to get made fun of. But that's just, that's just wrong. That's just cruel to your child. <laughs> Dick can swing a pretty lusty bat. A couple team cards that I got right here. Look at this. This is the Texas Ranger, the Texas Rangers. No big deal, just the Texas Rangers. But the thing about this is that right in the middle is Ted Williams because he was the manager of that team. So I got a Ted Williams team card for practically nothing. Now this card here, I don't, I don't really know about it. This is a beautiful card, and I only paid like three dollars for it. But it's a Boston Red Sox. Let's see what year is it? Just beautiful, and the reason, obviously, the reason is Ted Williams is on there. It says, wait, it says, oh, it's got a little antenna on it right there. Look, uh, it says Ted Williams is fourth from the right, so he would be right there. Ted Williams. Getting down here at the very end, but here's one of the best cards I picked up. Look at this for three dollars. I picked up this uh, league leader card. It's got Sandy Koufax, Juan Marichal, Bob Gibson, and Gaylord Perry. I mean, honestly, how could that card get any better? I mean, who could Don Drysdale make? No, I mean, Juan Marichal is like one of the best, most underrated pitchers of all time. Maybe if Bob Gibson was right there, um, that card could have been better. And I mean, obviously, the condition could have been better, too. But, I mean, just a beautiful card as far as content goes. So, folks, when I was in Salisbury, I got something that I've never had before. I got Dick Ricketts. That's right, folks. I've got Dick Ricketts. And it was only a dollar. But um, pretty cool card. Pretty cool to get Dick Ricketts. And, um, and, and look, it's even got a glory hole punched in it. I'm not even going to make a joke about that. I'm proud of you. You know that. I hope you do. But here's the thing about Dick Ricketts is that Dick Ricketts was a two-sport athlete, a professional two-sport athlete. Obviously, he played in the majors, and I only think he played, he only pitched like one year in the majors. But he was also an NBA player. He was drafted number one overall by the, I think it was the St. Louis Hawks back in 1955. So he was a, he was a, he was a baller back then. One of the first two sport athletes, so eat your heart out, Bo Jackson, Deion Sanders, and Danny Ainge. And right here is the biggest rookie that I picked up from the show in Salisbury. I uh, paid $15 for it from the 1986 87 Fleer basketball set. A lot of rookies in that set. Patrick Ewan. Um, never had this card before. Actually, I might, I don't know. I've got it now. That's the main thing. I've got it now. So um, it's off centered. Of course, all the all the cards in that set were off-centered. But, I mean, it's got some sharp corners, so it was only $15. So, um, I, I couldn't pass that up for $15, and uh, real nice to have that. So, uh, that, 
that was about all I picked up. I did pick up a couple packs card. I'm gonna just pick, I'm gonna open this up real quick. It's just a 1989 Donruss, and we all already know what we're looking for: the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie. So we got Lance McCullers, Jose Canseco MVP. I'm gonna keep that. Bob Forsh, Tom Bernatsky, Pete O'Brien. My God, I've had a lot of Pete O'Briens lately. Andres Galarraga, Dave Martinez, Big Mac. Okay, we got the, the Bash Brothers, Charlie Lee Brandt, Joe Carter, Mike Socia, Claudel Washington, Lee Smith, and Gary Pettis. Pack number two of this uh, of uh, this rack pack. On the front, we have Glenn Braggs about how big his dick is. Hall of Famer Eddie Murray. Frank Tanana, Steve Sachs, Dave Rigetti, Mel Hall, Dennis Eckersley, Pete Incavillia, Danny Tartable, Sandy Alomar Jr. Rookie, Robin Yount, Kirby Puckett, Denny Martinez, Carlton Fisk. My God, you're talking about a bunch of Hall of Famers. Look at all them Hall of Famers right there. Man, that was great. All right, let's see about this last pack. Maybe we'll get this Griffey. Alan Ashby, Todd Worrell, Juan Samuel, Tom Browning, Mark Davis, Craig Leffers, Andy Van Slyke. Yeah, bitch! Magnets! Ron Gant, Ryan Sandberg, all right. Kevin McReynolds, Harold Reynolds. Rance Mullenix, Rance? I don't remember him. Juan Berenguer. And Prime, oh, there's another one, Prime Griff, and Mike Greenwell. Bunch of MVPs, bunch of all-stars, and a bunch of, um, a bunch of Hall of Famers, but no Griffey Jr., but that's okay. I still enjoyed it. So, uh, you know, I, I guess that'll wrap up this episode. Another great show, another great show. So, um... I guess until next time, y'all have a good day. Mm -hmm.